that as we take this live look towards Charlotte Douglas International, boy, is it hazy out there. Did you know that air quality can also impact our aircraft? Chief Transportation Correspondent and veteran pilot Mike Hay Beeler is here to explain. Yeah, Mike Hay, some of these flights here, they've already been canceled mm -hmm. up in the Northeast where we've really seen how bad it is, and that can affect them too. That can affect them. We're good here at Charlotte Douglas, but yes, we have delays going up there. So we all know that smoke is not good for our lungs, but what about for our aircraft? So you're going to love this, folks. Suck, squeeze, bang, and blow. Suck, squeeze, squeeze bang, bang, and blow. And right. blow. Yeah. Yeah. It's, a, it's yeah. a catchy <laughs> phrase commonly used to describe how a jet engine works. So uh, this is the key, the key thing here. Air is very important. So jet engines, they suck in the air, they squeeze or compress it, they bang or ignite it, and they blow it out. That creates thrust. So air is the key player here. Now, typically commercial airliners, they can fly through mild and moderate smoke with no problems. So our current conditions here in Charlotte, while not ideal for people or planes, it's not significantly going to degrade engine performance, that according to engineers. But what about the smell if you're on an aircraft? All right, does it enter the aircraft passenger cabin? Yeah, you may notice a slight smoky odor because cabin air is a mix of recirculated and outside air. The good news, it passes through HEPA filters within just a few rounds of recirculation. So outside pollution or smoke that enters the cabin gets filtered out very quickly. With the same type filters actually used in hospitals, the residual smoke from the Canadian wildfires now here in our backyards, it's not a significant hazard to airliners compared to volcanic ash. Now this is interesting. Ingredients in wildfire smoke differ from abrasive volcanic ashes that are made up of rock fragments, minerals, volcanic glass. These damage engines and aircraft surfaces, so conditions like that are going to ground aircraft for safety reasons. Typically moderate wildfire smoke does not ground commercial operations unless the visibility gets too low, like today in New York, where we have delays. I reached out to airport officials at Charlotte Douglas International Airport to see if the smoke has had any adverse effect. They say no, no impact, although we have delays out of New York. Yeah, it's incredible to see how bad the air is in New York right now. And also those HEPA air filters came after the COVID stuff, which That's is right. great yeah. to see that too. That's but right, uh, absolutely. You're air, a pilot yourself. Has fl have you flown in this type of thing? And what is this like for pilots to fly in this type of air? I have flown wildfires out west. I have flown above them in jets. Uh, for folks that fly in visual flight rules, this is where you have to have a minimum of three miles visibility to be legal. Well, today the lowest visibility in Charlotte was four miles. That's marginal VFR. Not a good day to fly. You can't see very far. Today the visibility I checked as of uh, four o'clock today, it's up to eight in Charlotte. It has improved. Check this out. In Newark, half mile visibility. In LaGuardia, a mile and a quarter. So there are ground delays in Newark and in the New York area. But here in Charlotte, eight miles visibility. Not that bad, but yeah, not healthy for sure. Yeah, yeah definitely not healthy. And uh, no. it doesn't look like it's very fun to fly in, too. Not well, you can't, you can't see, see very far. <laughs> you can't see very far. For safety far. and for just the, the fun and the thrill of flying, especially for small engines. Exactly. And let me make it clear. Airline pilots, they fly by instruments. Yeah. So they don't need to look outside except to take off and land. Right. <laughs> uh, but this doesn't impact them as much as folks on visual flight. Rules. All right. Really good stuff to Mickey, understand, especially you. today. Mickey Beeler, a pilot herself. Thank you.